Okay, at number 10 is AVG antivirus. And I know that AVG has millions of loyal followers that swear to it, been using it for years. And truth be told, you can use pretty much any legit program and be fine. I mean, that's the thing. If you know what you're doing, you're internet savvy, you know what to avoid, and you know the tricks of the trade so to speak you can pretty much use any legit program and be fine but the truth about ABG is it might as well stand for average because that's really what it is maybe slightly above but not much more its detection rate has always been below standard um, at least for the free version I'm not sure about the paid probably probably not much difference if any but yeah it's it's really in my opinion been consistently uh, the most overrated computer security program there is today. I mean, it was the, one of the first. That's the thing. It was one of the first free pro. It was one of the first free programs, and a lot of people use it. And when people get used to something, you know, what can you say? They loved it. They used it. It, and it worked, and it did. But the truth is, there are other free programs out there that just beat the crap out of it. And so, anyway, it's still good enough for ten. I mean, if you're using it, fine, but there are better things out there. So anyway, ABG number 10. Number 9 on the list is Online Armor Free Firewall. The thing is, uh, for years, Online Armor has been battling Komodo uh, for the name of the best free, or if not best period, software firewall. And even though Online Armor is a legit second place to Komodo, it, it in my opinion, it is second place. I, I've heard other sites that have ranked it ahead, but from my experience, Komodo is in a league of its own in terms of firewalls and that's free or paid in my view I don't, I've never seen or heard of any better firewall out there than Komodo but anyway this is about online armor if you use it uh, more power to you I mean, it'll, it'll do the job it has uh, you know hips protection it'll protect you it I think Windows even recognizes it as an anti-spyware program I'm not sure but it'll do the job it's very effective good on leak tests but anyway, it, it, uh, it's good enough for number nine on the list. So anyway, online armor, free firewall, number nine. Okay, number eight on the list is Microsoft Security Essentials. Now, the thing is, this is really a tale of two programs because on Windows 7 and Vista, I'm assuming, um, Security Essentials is a different program. It's basically um, a free version, a free program you can download. Like if you don't have one, it'll show up in Windows updates. And But the thing is, on Windows 8, it's already on your system. It's already incorporated into Windows Defender. They, incor they incorporate uh, Microsoft Security Essentials into Defender. And the, the, the purpose of that is it is the first Microsoft operating system to have antivirus installed right out of the box. I, I don't know why they've waited this long to, to include that. You'd think they would have included that uh, a long time ago, but I guess not. So the thing is, Security Essentials is one of those things that a lot of people use and it seems to work fine, but it's it's average. I mean, it'll do the job that it's intended to, but if you throw enough at it, a lot of it will get passed. Um, that's, that's the reputation anyway. It's not bad, but um, Microsoft's reputation on developing good security software to guard their own uh, systems is not is not that great. Um, Windows Defender up until Windows 8 has a crappy reputation but I, I've heard they've beefed it up for Windows 8. I don't use it but that's what I've heard. Um, the same for Windows Firewall. It's better than nothing but um, hey, I, it, 
it they they could do better in my opinion you know what i mean but um anyway security essentials is better than nothing it's an all-in-one program and the thing is if you have windows 8 you don't have to do anything it's already activated as soon as you uh, turn your computer on so if that's fine for you fine it's good enough for number eight on the list Okay, number seven on the list is Adaware Free Antivirus. The thing is, this is one of uh, two programs on this list that have really had significant comebacks because for a while, Adaware had a pretty crappy reputation, especially as an anti anti spyware program. I, I saw one uh, test video where it wouldn't even remove Adware, and that's what it was originally designed to do. So it was considered uh, not a junk program, but not much more. I, I use it for a, a short while and wasn't impressed by it. But here they come out with a free antivirus, and it's it's got a pretty good reputation. I don't I wouldn't consider it among the elites, but it's certainly better than nothing. Um, from what I've read and from what I've heard, it does a pretty good job, and it's really earned itself a reputation as a legit and worthwhile antivirus program for free. It's it's not one that it's not the first one I would recommend, but there are a lot worse out there. So I would definitely recommend it above AVG or Security Essentials for a main antivirus, but that's another story. So anyway, um, number seven on the list is Adaware Free Antivirus. Okay, number six on the list is PC Tools Free Antivirus. Now, PC Tools has been around for quite some time. Um, if you were around the computer business about five years ago, they had one of the best known anti-spyware programs out there, Spyware Doctor. To be honest, I don't know if it's still available. I don't think it is. I think they've incorporated it into their their free antivirus because you know, in, in many ways it's one and the same spyware and viruses are not the same but you know these days you need an antivirus that does more than just viruses since only a small percentage of the malware out there are actual viruses you need to be able to, to detect much more than that so um, PC tools has a solid reputation been around for a long time made a lot of good programs so on um, reputation, reputation alone, plus I've seen some test videos on this and it's, it's a really good program. Um, I would call it among the elite free antiviruses, I definitely would. I don't know how it stacks up against the, the elite paid, but I don't, I don't uh, have much regard for most of them anyway, but that's another story. So anyway, if you're looking for a good free antivirus and you don't want to try the top two that we're going to talk about uh, give PC tools uh, a chance because I don't think you'll be disappointed okay we're into the top five now uh, number five is Iobit Malware Fighter, and this is um, the other one that I think has really made a significant comeback. Um, Iobit didn't have that great a reputation uh, until recently, especially in terms of computer security. It made some decent uh, cleanup tools, but in terms of computer security, they were considered an also ran. Um, but now they've made this program, Iobit Malware Fighter, which I wouldn't call it elite. Among the free program, there's only a few that I would consider elite, but I definitely um, would consider it you know, a step down. Like in the NBA, um, you have LeBron, and then there's Kevin Durant. You know, he's he's good, but not quite as good as the best of the best. 
Um, I hope it's good. It has uh, real time protection for all for all kinds of uh, tasks, and it'll sit nice and quietly. It's it's low on resources. It doesn't bug you with a lot of pop ups. It updates automatically, and it's just a good program to have. Um, it doesn't complement other antiviruses or anti-spyware very well because it has real-time protection. So if you're thinking of using this as a backup or as an on-demand scanner, you got to disable the shields because you could get conflicts in there. But um, yeah, it's a solid program. I use it. I like it. it it's definitely worth uh, taking a look at. Uh, it's got a good reputation and it's one of those you know, success stories of a company that's really put out a, a solid product that wasn't considered too highly in terms of computer security until recently. So anyway, number five, Iobit Malware Fighter. Okay, at number four, we have a newcomer to the free antivirus world, and that's Panda Cloud Free Antivirus. Now, Panda is just the opposite of Iobit. They have been in the com computer security business for quite some time and have a solid reputation. They have one of the best reputations in the computer security world. In fact, I, I would still consider them underrated. I, when you think of computer security, you think mostly of Norton and McAfee, maybe Kaspersky, but uh, the first two um, you, can, you can have, and I'll get to that later. Um, anyway, Pay in the Cloud is a solid program with, by a solid company that y you can't go wrong if you choose this as your main antivirus. Um, I wouldn't be the first one I recommend, I'll get into that later, but you can't go wrong. Um, I would cer certainly recommend it way before AVG or Microsoft or some of the other ones I've mentioned, but um, yeah, this, this is one that a lot of people have never heard of before and for good reason it's new up until now they had a paid version <clears throat> but um, this is their first foray into the the free antivirus world and it's a solid solid effort uh, it's a newcomer and if you don't want to try the other two give this one a shot and I'm sure you'll be happy number four paint the cloud free antivirus